So, now, um, well, <laughs> Nick, it doesn't really help when you're doing that instead of taking down your notes. So, you lost, you lost your edge with me. So we're doing dividing. <clears throat> yeah, so now we're doing dividing. So we did adding, subtracting, multiplying, and now I'm going to give you an example of dividing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, dividing by imaginary numbers, if you guys think about this conceptually, that doesn't really make sense. Trying to say, how many times does a number that doesn't even exist divide into something, right? Same thing, Lauren, that we talk about when we're trying to conceptualize, like how does dividing into zero, like how does dividing by zero really work? How many times does zero go into a number where zero doesn't represent, you know, it doesn't have a count or anything? So dividing imaginary numbers, it intellectually, it kind of seems like, you know, how can we divide something by a number that doesn't even exist, that's imaginary? <coughs> well, the point is we can't divide by imaginary numbers. The best we can do is simplify the division with an imaginary number. So what I need to do is I need to get rid of this imaginary number. Now, what was the easiest thing I could multiply by to get to, if you guys remember your i, i squared, i cubed, i to the fourth, if I multiplied i by something, how could I get it to be a number? What could I multiply my i by? Here, let me put it this way. What if I multiplied i, what if I multiplied by i on the bottom? What would I have on the bottom? That's a two. I would have 3i squared. And i squared is I negative 1. So if I multiply my denominator by i, guess what? Do I have an i anymore on the bottom once I simplify it? No. However, you guys have to make sure you understand equivalent fractions. Whatever you do in the denominator, you have to do in the numerator to produce the same fraction. And let me give you an example. Again, this is just a random example. If I gave you guys 1 half, as long as you multiply the top and the bottom by the same number, you produce equivalent equations. If I multiply by 3 over 3, I get um, 3 sixth. Is 1 half the same as 3 sixth? Yeah. Yes. Just one is simplified and then the other, right? So whatever you multiply in your denominator, you have to multiply in your numerator. And again, guys, we're just trying to simplify this. <clears throat> 2 times i is 2i. Divided by 3 times i squared is um, three, or 3 times this would be 3i squared. And what do we say i squared is equal to? Negative 1. Negative 1, negative one times 3 is? Negative 3. <coughs> Done. That's it.